everyone, welcome back to Hey Bartender. This is Gustavo Rojas, uh, your personal bartender. And uh, today we're gonna try something very cool and very exotic. What happens when uh, two people combine uh, their ideas? Uh, one of them, it was my neighbor who brought me these fresh grapefruits and they're absolutely amazing. And uh, my other bartender, one of my very, very good friends, uh, Gerardo, he showed me this. This is what we call them the butterfly PT. This is uh, the beverage uh, by tradition on the south of Asia. This is an, a known uh, caffeinated tea. And the peculiarity is that the blue petals give you this really cool beverage, which is uh, kind of like a purplish royal blue uh, tea. Uh, why okay, so let's just start doing this uh, in a very simple way. This is like super easy, super simple. The Butterfly PT, you can buy it online and it's gonna cost you somewhere in between eight to ten dollars according with uh, the site that you choose. Okay, uh, how do you infuse your gin? Very simple. You got your mason jar. Uh, don't put the whole bottle because at one point I don't think you wanna drink blue drinks or purple drinks uh, uh, all day long or uh, you know for the rest of your batch. So just go for half of it and that way uh, just experiment. Save the other half for regular cocktails. And also what you can do is just do a non-alcoholic version. Just very reduced amount of hot water, put lots of leaves in there. And what you're gonna do is just let them sink, get the color out, and then just strain. Then you're gonna have your gin and let's make your cocktail. So we're gonna start with doing this with ounce and a half of grapefruit juice. We're gonna go just for one ounce of, excuse me, gin. Because this one is a mimosa, you don't wanna put too much alcohol in it. Uh, remember that you're gonna put actually some uh, Prosecco on it. Um, go for half an ounce of simple syrup. Add some ice. and top it up with a percent. In this case, obviously, always be careful when you open any kind of espumante. Always make sure that you put your tongue on top of it when you touch your screen. Why? It happens to me once that I just barely open the first twist on the actual net and the cork pop and almost pop my eye out. Never leave your tongue away from the cork. Grab your bar spoon. You wanna put it sideways. And what you want to do is kind of like a create a layer and not mix all the champagne with the actual mix. Kind of like having like a darker color on the bottom. And this guy change from blue to a beautiful purple color. For your garnish, grab a very small wedge of your grapefruit and cut a little bit of a, spring, a little spring of uh, rosemary and there you have it. This is the Butterfly P. Gin Mosa. Salud. So now, keeping using the Butterfly P. T. we're going to do a non-alcoholic beverage. So for this one, we're going to go, uh, we're going to make two cocktails. So we're going to go for an uh, ounce and a half of simple syrup. We're gonna go for four ounces of fresh grapefruit juice. You're gonna grab two basil leaves with the proper slab. And what you want to do is to model a little bit.
you get two plastic cups, obviously for kids, and get your ice spheres. You're gonna grab a little um, condensed tea, put them on the bottom. Okay, so there you have it. We have uh, the uh, gin uh, butterfly, a uh, gin mosa, and the non-alcoholic version of the basil lemonade with the butterfly pea. And for those little ones uh, in the house, hey girls, yeah, come. There we go. Oh, good things. You're welcome, baby. Mm. Everybody's happy. Salamati.